is up and welcome back to another video by my film figures in this video today we have ranking all of the universal champions now let's start off with number at number at the bottom eight at number eight we have fiend bray wyatt now i think the fiend bray wyatt title reign was a hundred percent the worst now He's had the title reign twice, but I'm only going to be ranking the title reigns for everybody uh, once. I'm not going to be ranking all 14. I'm just going to be ta talking about... Let's just say... How about we say... Now, nah, we're just going to say at number 8, we're just going to rank his title reign was the worst. Because his first title reign was pretty bad. And then his second one, he had it for a week. So looking here, as you guys can uh, see the all the um, title reigns. So Roman Reigns has had it since Payback. Fiend had it for six days. Braun Strowman had it for 141 days. Goldberg has it for had it for 37. Bray Wyatt had it for 119 days. Zet Rollins had it for 81. Brock Lesnar had it for 28. Zet Rollins again 98. Brock Lesnar again 156 days. V uh, vacate and then. That's when Roman went away. Uh, Roman Reigns, 64. Brock Lesnar, 504. That's a massive reign. Goldberg, 28 days. Uh, Kevin Owens, one day, God. And vacate. And then Finn Balor. Everybody knows that Finn Balor had the title for one day. He was the first ever. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the next title reign. Okay, so let's just talk about the Fiend reign. So, the Fiend defending it. His first reign, he won the title off Zet Rollins as Super Showdown. Then, on SmackDown, I think he changed the title to the color blue. And then, after that, we see The Fiend defend his title against Daniel Bride. Um, who else did he defend it against? See, that's how unrememberable the title reign. The Miz, Braun Strowman, I think. I think that might have been a sec. No, Braun Strowman, yeah, and... I can't even remember. Add Goldberg, who he lost to, and everybody was upset about that. Mad about that one. I think that's pretty much everybody. Is there anybody else? No, no, nobody else that really comes to my mind. No, I don't really know. I don't think that was. I think that was the only title reign. So uh, this title reign, second time he had it, had it for uh, six days. Lost it in the triple threat at payback uh, to Roman Reigns. Let's get to the next one. At number seven, guys, we have Finn. Ba I think this one just was kind of expected because at, Finn, at SummerSlam, Finn Balor won the Universal Championship. And then he had to give it up due to injury. And then that was it. Finn Balor was done. And he broke his arm, I think, or something. And he had an arm injury off the uh, buckle bombs that's done it to him. And I thought buckle bombs were bad, but apparently they're still... I've seen that to them a couple of times. And... Uh, yeah, he had it for a day, and we never even seen Finn Balor get that title again. Like, he got Intercontinental. He was NXT champion until he lost Karrion Cross. A uh, pretty good reign. But I hope he comes main roster, maybe he wins a mid card title. Uh, I haven't really seen much of Finn Balor in the last couple of, like, run that he had at NXT. I'd kind of seen most of it, but uh, yeah, he had a pretty good run there. And uh, yeah, we never got to see him even defend the title. But I just think that. The feeds was worse than his, even though he had a fair day, because that's due to injury, and I just got to put that there. But uh, let's get into the next. Right, at number six, we have Bill Goldberg. Now, a lot of people are going to be saying, why would you put the fiends, uh, Goldberg ahead of the fiend? It's because I think Goldberg's reign was just honestly better. My opinion, I just think it's just kind of like not more better, but he's just had better range in the past than the Fiend. The Fiend's just his character's been terrible, and uh, yeah, not much to say. It's Goldberg, and it's kind of just boring. Kind of, I don't, I never liked Goldberg having the title, so you know what? Actually, I'm gonna change the Fiends and Goldberg's place, put Goldberg and then the Fiends. Uh, Finn Balor can stay where he was, so here's. How we're going to rank it so far, it's not to make it confusing, it's going to be Goldberg last, then Finn Balor, and then The Fiend. That's how I'm going to put it. So let me just show you what it is. So The Fiend is... Finn Balor is on the worst title reign, or should we give it to Goldberg? Nah, we're going to say Finn Balor. Finn Balor, you're the worst. 
then Goldberg. So Finn Balor eight, seven Goldberg, six the feeds. I just kind of changed it up, but six feed. Okay, now let's get on to number five. Number five, we have. Honestly, I don't even think I have ever seen Kevin Owens defend this title. So, uh, Kevin Owens, should I even rank him? I don't. Even, I think he had it for a day. So you know what? I'm not even gonna rank Kevin Owens. Honestly, I don't. I don't even think he had the belts for that long. I don't even know. I think he lost it to Goldberg. So uh, you know what? We're gonna put Kevin Owens and Finn Balor joints just at the bottom. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, let's get into the next. Coming in at number four, we have Braun Strowman. I just think Zet Rollins' title reign was better than Braun's, so that's why he comes at number four. I kind of liked Braun Strowman's title reign. It was kind of like a replacement. He won it off Goldberg. Then he defended against Miz Morrison, and then I think he defended against Bray Wyatt, and then he lost it. I think that was the whole title reign. I, uh, beautiful. I don't think he defended against anybody else. I think that was it. And then he, like, lost the title. I don't even remember him defending against anybody else. But I think it was kind of interesting. I liked the Miz, Moore story, Miz and Morrison storyline. And I liked his Bray Wyatt storyline. So let's get into the next one. In next place, we have Zeth Rollins. I just think uh, Zeth Rollins is probably the next one. I liked Zeth's title right. He had it twice. The second time was not the best. Um... I think he just defended against the Fiend. We had that crappy Fiend situation where he had like, oh god, it just kind of ruined his character. Uh, the whole stomp just kind of ruined that. And then we had that kind of crap storyline. But when you the Fiend thing, that was just terrible. Nobody likes that. And then after that, I think we just um, his first title of rain was uh, he defended against he defended against Baron Corbin. He defended against AJ Styles. Who else did he defend it against? Um, he could have defended. Let me look it up and then I'll get back to you. Oh, he defended against Braun, The Fiend, and a couple AJ, and a couple other people. So he defended it against Braun, AJ, Kofi, uh, Bobby Lashley, Baron Corbin, Brock Lesnar, and The Fiend. That's most people. Well, let's get into the next one, guys. Next up, we have Brock Lesnar. Now, I think Brock Lesnar's title run is normally kind of entertaining because it's park timer. You don't see him much. And, uh, yeah, I like Brock's title run. So he kind of just defends against Zeth. He uh, defended against a lot of people. Roman a lot of the time. It's mostly Roman. And uh, I can't really remember too many other names. But he does defend against a lot of people. Normally ends up winning. And uh, yeah, he beat Kofi Kingston in like 20 seconds for the WWE Championship. Now let's get into the next person. At number one, we have Roman Reigns. I think that Roman Reigns has definitely been the best Universal Champion. He's had the best matches out of every pay-per-view. And he's had the best promos on SmackDown. The best uh, segments on SmackDown. Roman Reigns has 100% been the best Universal Champion. Even though his reign is not over. I think he's going to have it for like another... He's not going to lose that title for, until like WrestleMania. But uh, yes, the best is definitely Roman Reigns. And I think he's been a great Universal Champion. And I don't want him to lose it anytime soon. Right, guys, that has been ranking all of the Universal Champions. Make sure to drop down in the comments who is your favorite Universal Champion. Subscribe, comment, and like. My Phenomenal Figures, out.